Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I picked up a couple of solar panels. This is the first time I've been using a solar panel to charge my solar generator. Uh, so this is made by my, my Powos. I'm probably mispronouncing this, M-H-P-O-W-O-S. I picked these up because they were pretty cheap. They were actually some of the cheapest ones I found on Amazon. So I figured, let me give it a try. I don't have a lot to lose. Um, they are 220 volt, 40 watt panels. It says it comes with all the hardware, so we're gonna let you know as I open this up. Um, I have three solar generators that I actually would like to try this with. One is the AC2A by Blue Eddy, which it probably will not work with this because this is 40 volts, that's only 28 volts. Um, but I have a larger AC180 and the AC200L, uh, which can handle up to 60 volts. So I do wanna try this. It's actually a pretty cold day today, but it is pretty sunny. So I figured let's take this out, let's hook everything up and see how it works. And let's see what kind of voltage we're actually getting through this in wattage. And like I said, it is a pretty sunny day. It is in February though. Um, so let's pull the camera in a little bit closer. Let me show you what came with it. Let's get this set up and then let's get the Blue Eddy out here and plug it in and see what kind of power we're getting from these relatively inexpensive solar panels. All right, I just wanted to pull the camera in a little bit just so you can take a look and see what came with it. So right here, this is the solar connectors uh, and then basically it comes to this giant output of all different uh, adapters that you might possibly need. This looks like a uh, MC60 Anderson connectors. We've got some barrel plugs uh, and then if we look in here, I hope you can see that on the camera, we do have your standard uh, solar connectors right here. So I have an adapter. I'm just going to plug directly into this uh, and then we're going to hook this up to the Blue Eddy and see what kind of wattage we get uh, with the sun from today. And then let's, uh, let's go set this up and we'll come right back. Okay, so I've got the panels opened up. This is the outdoor prepper dog checking them out. And they look pretty nice. That one on the left has got a little shade on it, so I might slide them a little bit more uh, to the right. And let's get the Blue Eddy out here. Let's hook it up and let's see what kind of uh, wattage we're getting. All right, so I pulled the Blue Eddy outside. Panels are set up nice in the sun here. And let me just pan around because I did move them over just a little bit so we can get some close to full sun. So that looks uh, pretty good. This is my first time using a solar panel, like ever. And certainly my first time trying to hook it up to a solar generator. So I am actually very excited. So let's, let's zoom the camera in so you can kind of follow along as I they do this for the first time here. So if we're looking at the side of the AC200L, and this is a pretty large uh, solar generator. This is a 2,045 watt hour uh, pack. So let's just see how this goes. Looks like this goes like this. So first thing I'm doing is I'm just attaching the cable that came with the AC200L. Uh, and then, let me just come over here to the camera to make sure that you guys can see this. So I've got the cable plugged into the AC200L. It's got these, uh, I believe these are XT60 uh, connectors. Those are plugged in tight. And now we're gonna take, we're gonna take these and plug them in to the panel. So let's just, uh, let's move the camera around here. So that way you can see this, hopefully. And now I don't know what's going to happen as soon as I connect these. I mean, maybe it'll start charging right away. Maybe I need to turn it on. I'm not entirely clear. All right. Those are all hooked up. Ooh, the, uh, the, unit, the unit just turned on. Outdoor, outdoor prepper dog is angry. So we are pulling in right now 102 watts from our 220 watt panels. I suppose that is okay. It is, uh, you know, February. We don't have the strongest sun and the panels are probably not angled entirely correctly. So let me do this. Let me just come back. I want to try to adjust the panels a little bit and see if I can get some more power. Okay, I adjusted the panels just a little bit uh, and we're pulling in about 106 watts. So. That's not too bad, 107. I would estimate or hope that if this were the summertime, 
uh, you know, that we might be able to get a little bit more power. But I am not totally unhappy with 106 watts. So our battery is at 83% and it's saying at this state of charge, uh, with this power coming in, it's going to take us about four hours to fill this uh, battery up. Let me just put the screen back on, it does time out. Uh, again, this is a pretty big unit. This is the AC200L. It's a 2048 watt hour battery. So I would say that this is definitely a successful test of the, you know, the solar panels. This is the MHPO WOS. I don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, these are the 220 watt, 40 volt panels. So far, I am definitely very happy. Uh, when I was afraid, uh, actually, that the outdoor prepper dog was going to uh, pee on the panel, but he did not. Um, but yeah, I'm very happy with these so far. I would like to see a little higher wattage coming out of the panel right now, considering it is, you know, in fairly direct sun. Uh, but I, I do need to see if I can adjust them a little bit more. Uh, I did try, but I couldn't get any lower of an angle uh, with these kickstands, although I suppose that there might be a way. You know, I'm just not familiar enough. Uh, let, me, let me see what else I can do to adjust these, and let's come right back. All right, I've been playing around with the angle of the panels just a little bit and I'm still really not able to pull over about 107 watts. Um, I have watched other reviews on these panels and they were actually pulling closer to 200. So I do kind of have to chalk this up to the angle of the sun. Uh, you know, in the time of the year, it is about one o'clock and the sun is a little obstructed right now by, uh, by some trees. But for the price I paid for these, these were about 199 bucks. You can get them on sale. Uh, I am pretty happy. It came with all the adapters that I needed. I actually do like that these have four kickstands. Um, I was looking at some other panels by other manufacturers, and they only had three, which I found to be a bit awkward. So I do actually prefer the, uh, the four. They're not that heavy. This is maybe 20 pounds, give or take. Uh, maybe even a little bit lighter. Uh, so it was not, not very heavy at all. Uh, but let's do this. I think we're going to call this for now. Definitely a success. I, I like these panels. Uh, but let's come back and do a follow-up video, uh, maybe when there's like really some bright sun out uh, or it's a different time of the year. Let's get one final check. Right, we are pulling 96 watts. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and post the link where I got these on the channel. Uh, let me know what you think. If you own these panels, uh, you know, if you're interested in them, I will, you know, do a follow-up with more of a long-term review. And again, just to kind of show you, this came with it. Um, so you do have a lot of options in terms of what you can charge here. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Ask any questions, and I'll do my best to answer. All right, guys, I did want to just come back real quick. I have been moving these around the yard a little bit uh, to try to get a more optimal angle. Uh, of the sun here and, and I'm unfortunately really not able to pull over a hundred watts uh, but I have not lost hope that uh, you know these will not generate more it could just be the angle of the sun again this is not one of the strong months for solar I suppose uh, this is the first time I've owned any solar panels so it's kind of difficult for me to rate this compared to anything else uh, but I'm basically kind of maxed out at about 105 to 108 watts uh, regardless of how I move these around the yard but obviously, as you can tell by snow on the ground, we are in the winter. Uh, let's just take a look here. We've actually got some more shade now, so I anticipate this will be much lower. Oh, wow. We're only pulling 11 watts right now. But I'm also uh, standing in front of the panel. We're at 10 watts. So, yeah. I don't know. I like the panels. All right. It just jumped up to 45. So I think that does show us that, you know, this is certainly... Uh, the shade and me kind of standing in front of it really just dropped it down a lot. Um, but I do like the panels for the price. They were they were a decent buy. Uh, I like that it came with all the adapters. I like that there's four kickstands. It's got a nice little uh, you know case in the back to keep all the wires contained in there. Um, let's just zoom back in real quick on the, the cable. This is actually very helpful because I have another Blue Eddy. I have the AC180 uh, and that takes a barrel plug. I think this is... Uh, this one right here, this yellow one, is what it takes. Um, so I will give that a try uh, in a later video. But yeah, this is nice that it came with all this, so it's one less thing you have to buy. Thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful. And like I said, I will definitely do a follow-up video uh, once the summer comes and we get a little more uh, direct sunlight out here. Uh, and I'm going to bring the AC180 out, and we're going to try that one as well.